website. This is a set repositories where you can save your file and uh, your models here. Okay. Okay, we try to uh, read the data from let's say website. Okay, we will go to one of the website. That a lot of people are using this in the machine learning community is using I machine learning repository. You can start from Google if you don't uh, remember. Start UCI data repository, <coughs> search it, and you will see UCI machine learning repository. Click and then choose one of the files that you like. Receive your own file. Uh, from this website, you can see that they have 308 datasets at the moment. I click uh, from 1995 until 2015 and the data is summarized in the left hand side. Default tasks like classification, regression, clustering have three main uh, groups and also have some other kind of tasks. And they separate into attribute type, we have categorical, numerical and mixed. And then uh, separate from data type, we have multivariate, univariate, sequential, time series, text, domain series, and the others. And also a group in terms of area, life science, physical sciences, computer science and engineering, social sciences, uh, business, game, and the others. Okay, and so on. Okay, and uh, there are a lot of things like this. So, if you pick some of your data today to, to read it, let's try this. Read car evaluation. Uh, this, this data set is in 1997. It's a uh, multi variant type, and the task is classification. Attribute types all is categorical. Uh, One thousand seven hundred twenty-eight records and six attributes input and one class output. Okay, let's click on that. Okay, there are two folders from this website. One is data folder. The other is data set description. Let's go a little bit to data set description. Okay, in this part, uh, summarize like the title of this data, current evaluation database, who donated this data, Marco, and, and the data is here. And past use in, in the publication and so on. And summarizing them of number of instances. And attributes input they have buying. Buying very high, high, medium, low. There's four categorical. Maintenance, very high, high, medium, low. Number of dogs, two, three, four, five or more. Number of persons that can sit in a car is two persons, four or more. Uh, the size of luggage boot, small, medium, big, and the safety, low, medium, high. So these uh, are attributes, values of input. And uh, there are no missing values in those attributes. A one class attribute, there's four values or four classes. Unacceptable car, acceptable good car and very good car. The, you can see that the data is not balanced. In, this is imbalanced data. Uh, for the unexpected, there are a lot, 
more acceptable only 22.22%, good car 3.993 and very good is 3.762%. Okay, then we can go back to, to read the data. Uh, the data is in car.data. Okay, how are you gonna put this in, into a, your system? There are many ways. You can set as a file into a file, file, or you can select all of this, copy, control, or command, command C, command A, command C, go back to some Excel, and you press here, let's say you have this, press here, and then you need to put uh, one row here and put the name of the attributes then, which you can copy from description. It is a uh, Buying, the first column, maintenance, second, doors, third, persons, fourth, luck, boot, fifth, and safety, sixth. And then the seventh is a class. So you have some kind of this. So the first, first row is going to be the name of attributes. And the remaining will be records of data. Okay, you do it. And I'm waiting for you. I can see that all the data will be some uh, like categorical already. So it's ready to. put into the system. When you're done, save as, save as of your data, put the name, car evaluation, and select your place to, to store, as uh, in some of the document data or something, and choose the format as .csv, any kind of .csv file, and then you save, and say OK, OK, you got this into a .csv file, and ready, you go a bit more again. Now, we would like to import the data. Right, you go to the operator, folder, imports, uh, data, expand it, and you see read CSV. Okay, now let's try this. <coughs> oh. Click on the operator reads CSV. You can see that the parameters on the right hand side. They say that import configuration wizard. Click on there and locate the, the data that you kept on. And select a file. Evaluation.csv. You got to this part. Okay, and then go next. I can ask you about how to separate the data. It's column separation. All right, and now side file encoding. Let's say we have US ASCII for type. Or if you have some other select it on the right format, but here we have ASCII file. 
uh, column separation we use comma separation to go comma and we go next right and then now there's a we have there come to this point again next okay from here you can see that the uh, rapid miner can bring you the type of each attribute it's already guessed for you already that what kind of the, 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 the attribute type will be if you can click on it and see that there are a lot of uh, type of attributes like real text for uh, binomial polynomial five pass date time date and so on but uh, is select for you is polynomial that's a good choice already for uh, six attributes input uh, six input attributes here but the last one uh, the last one we would like to be a class label or a target so we have to select attribute type here would be label not, not normal attributes this also the type is polynomial so the author is going to be only normal attributes Okay. In the attributes, there's a lot of things like label, ID, weight, batch, cluster, prediction, and so on. And here we select like this. So the six columns, first six columns can be attributes, and then the last one be label. And see that no error in this data set. Okay, we go finish. And now we would like to see uh, how it's important. We can connect our output to the result. And then let's try run. And uh, I can play here. Go run. And then it brings you to the result window. And you see that the tab data uh, summarize for you how many examples we have here. Uh, one special attribute, which is class attribute or, or label attribute, which is the first one here. And the six regular attributes can be input. You can filter of some labels and so on missing attributes and no missing attribute no missing label okay and if you see the statistics you can see some summarize of each attributes some statistics least most values and so on if it's numerical value we see some mean, max, ableist, and standard deviation also. Uh, we, they also have some tools for visualize, like a charts, and many, many tools to visualize the data. Now, in my selection, I choose scattered matrix plot, or you can use a parallel plot. This is not very uh, good uh, description for, for the plot for the parallel. You can could choose some others like uh, statistics in this quartile. You can separate by each. Oh, I can see some others. Let's say like bar or oh, histogram. 
It's on histogram. You can see the the class unacceptable very high and acceptable uh, also low, but very good and good very low. And for age attribute, you can see the distribution very uh, like. Uh, like rectangle, rectangular. Okay, go back to the design. Then now, you suppose you would like to to build a classifier to classify data into um, four classes, right? Okay, let's say we. We have studied some of the classification. We have uh, tried the decision tree. Right. It's in modeling and classification regression expanded. We see tree induction. Okay. Let's choose the decision tree. Or you can just EID3 that should be okay too. The decision tree. Now, if we select this process, click on it, select it. You can see the light here, and then you can see at the the blocks of the parameters. What did you see? The criterion. What does mean? The criterion is the way that they build uh, to choose the attribute to separate the data and to start from the root and go each level of the trees. So if you click on that, we see gain ratio, information gain, or uh, uh, Gini index, accuracy. So like ID3, they use information gain, like sometimes called entropy gain. Right. The gain ratio is in 4.5. So the information gain divided by the gain, the gain, uh, the gain ratio become gain ratio, right? And uh, accuracy is a opposite side of the error classification error that's what we have studied in the class okay we try to use let's say gain ratio in this case maximum depth this is the level of tree that could be built 20 levels and then they have pruning uh, pruning is mean when you the build, when the tree growing bigger and bigger, and it go back to prune the trees, and set up the confidence as zero point two five. Uh, for the pre pruning, also apply uh, at the minimum gain of point one. This default, the maximum reef is two and uh, minimum size of splitting is 4 in this case okay we suppose that we not pruning it what happened we remove on the app pruning so let's say like like this and we will we, we'll try to run this let's see what happened it go run It's quickly built three and show in the results. Yes, you lost. Yeah. <laughs> where did you Where did you lost? I think we we just repeat the C S. Huh? Go back here. Yeah. You have this one read yeah. successfully. Uh, for me, it's yellow. Yeah. Oh, you have yellow. It's mean. Uh, if you have yellow, you mean you're not running yet. But if you have acclimation, 
exclamation mark no in, in general is general that's right yellow is mean it's needed to go when you run it you get, get green and you have to you shoot the three connect like this and move and should be not loose if you have this you have to try okay disconnect disconnect first let's say like this you have like this or not you have like this right information you go here connect model connect to be yellow like this yeah. and you can lock now you have to choose uh, okay ignore and check of apply pruning and check apply pre pruning and then go play <coughs> yeah let's get the uh, let's move to the uh, result over here you can zoom in, zoom out, or to, to see the, the tree. It's quite big tree. Right. It is very big. Okay. All right, and so part of we would like to to know what is uh, the percentage of accuracy of this model that we built. Okay, we should do x um, x validation or cross validation. Let's go see the tab of evaluation. Evaluation here. Right. And to measure the model, is it good or not? How much is good? Click. Tab, tab validation. Uh, X validation. You also have performance measure. Some classification. Uh, performance classification. Okay, let's let's do this one. Right, we draw it. But we need to reform this model a little bit. We cut this off. Disconnect. Disconnect the port. Okay, and you need to apply the model. Okay, we have to choose apply. Let's just search for apply. Oh, I can, I can see from tab here. Modeling, model application, and apply model in model application. I need this one. And uh, now you have source of data, you have model that you're going to build. After you build it, you have to apply the build model to apply model, and then you send this, the the label to the performance. Okay. So it's supposed to be use the same source of data here. We should uh, separate into training set and test set. What we need is some split out of data uh, let's see 
Let's say it should be split validation. So we put a trending in into this. But uh, in, in the validation here, they have to see that this, uh, this sign. This means uh, inside it, they have sub process. Sub process inside. If we double click in this, this means we have to put a sub process in here. There are two boxes two boxes training and testing. So we have to put our learning model in the training and the test model we're going to put in here the, the apply model we go up here we just say copy of the, or cut so we can paste in this box uh, click on addition 3 edit cut and close inside this of the sub-process sub of validation and you pass this entry to here. Connect the port and connect the model to the model. Right now you uh, your your model ready to, to train. After it's trained, then we have to test it. So we need to apply model. So we will show the apply model and performance you select two of these by drag window cover and cut and go back inside the validation and pass into the test ch uh, channel it is passed Not allow. Cut again. Okay. And you connect the model to the apply model. And connect the model to <coughs> to the model uh, to label of the performance. And you have to connect the test to unlabel of the apply model. And performance is connected to the average. Done. So if you have yellow like this, it's been ready. You may send the, the example to to this to go up back. Then you would like to connect. Of the average or the model output, see the model output and the uh, average out. So, still have exclamation here. Maybe you need to send the models out. It says something, a cremation still of this. Okay, that's it. This validation 
speedization of this operator perform a simple validation a randomly split up to example set into training set and test set and evaluate this model this operator pre performs a split validation into order in order to estimate the performance of a learning operator this we use unseen data set this is mainly used for estimate how accurate the model learned by factory learning operator you perform in practice so so far seem to be okay for these blocks but this is too red what happened let's see. Uh, they have split ratio of seven uh, uh, seven shuffle certify linear sample let's say do use linear sample the wrong data type or PHP was delivered at port or average cannot okay this means cannot let's say the model to results or oh, this is cannot have to be disconnect Okay, we cannot do this one. All right. Okay, now yellow ready to go. Now we can run. This is a three and You don't have the result. This is three. The accuracy should show up. If it shows, uh, the criteria is the accuracy. to example go to average no and not you got already eh? Okay, I have to connect to this one out too. Right. Yeah, okay, got it. So, what I missed was to connect the average out and the output. So, the mode out and the, uh, the result of accuracy, which is you can. Uh, actually, at the performance, you can measure some other things like uh, classification error, kappa, admin recall, and so on here. Windows. 
correction and so on square error all right then this is good model try uh, this is three at the moment you use scan ratio and you use uh, no pruning at all you can try apply pre pruning and a default like this let's say what let's try again what happened it's reduced the accuracy or if you pruning Ray. back to six to one but here the three size the three size will be smaller smaller for pruning you can see it from description it's really last size so sometimes graphic mode is difficult to see and you can see the text mode here okay now you know how to do the read the data from CSV right how to validate and we try again okay let's set this model as this process is save it why save process as uh, in the process let's say you put in in one of your name say experiment one or tutorial one five we do another one after validation. Let's say cross validation. A similar thing of validation of this one. Different thing is that this cross validation you can put the number of validation to cross. Now let's say we move this, we move this one. Delete. Cut. Delete. Okay, we replace this validation. Okay, let it do. Okay. We connect this. Same thing. We have the model out and everything out. And this still exclamation is mean you not have the writing inside this. It's sub process. You go inside doing the same. Now we will have to build, <coughs> let's say, a tree again. classification tree induction about try additive we connect the training data and the model out uh, in the ID3 the criterion here you can choose also actually the ID3 original is Using information gain, this one, traditional one, but you can try uh, different criteria. Then you apply the model. Connect the model. Connect test data. And uh, the measurement, the performance.
classification performance again. Connect the library. Connect performance average. Now all yellow ready to go. In the performance, maybe you would like to see some others. Also. Wait, mainly call precision. Spearman. Absolute error, leadership error, and so on. Let me get some correlation. Okay. Go back up. What's in by? Number of validations means 10. And what is the 35 sampling? Anyone have idea? Cross validation. 10 is mean the data set will be separated into 10 partitions, or 10 set of data. Uh, 35 sampling is when you, you have 10 partitions and you sampling out of them in order to, to become the test data. And then they do an experiment or, or the training and also validate for 10 times. The first time just 9 out of 10 to be trained and 1 out of 10 test and cross it 10 times like this. And then this can evaluate all the results or if you untick this, it will uh, probably not not average, but has some other values. But now we try average. Okay, run and see what what is the result look like. Because we we check list many things like classification error, which means you call weighted mean precision in correlation. And that this is a criterion that come out. So the accuracy now is 89.41 percent on average. Hmm? This may be different because it's sampling. When you sampling cross, sometimes it is not the same data. Right, so. So you both the same or, or different? Probably not running. A, say running. Okay. For the precision and recall, uh, that's also thirty two percent, eighty six percent. Of the precision. Correlation is 7. If it's 1, it means best. It's 1. This is the correlation between the target and the prediction. It's called uh, similar to the, the accuracy. <coughs> this table is called confusion matrix right. uh, in the columns it is through classes the true unacceptable true acceptable through very good and through good and the row is predicted suppose the true one is unacceptable and predict as acceptable so it's Cross uh, row and column together. Uh, the number of correctly classified is 1,177. So in the diagonal, it's number of classified click. So if you add up in the diagonal line and divide by all of these data, some to 
together. And you got the accuracy of 89.41% uh, in this sense. And they have standard deviation of this. So because it's run across 10 times, they have some standard deviation, plus minus. Uh, it means that uh, in the true unaccept, uh, unacceptable is what wrongly classified into acceptable 30 cases and classified as good missing I mean wrongly three records and so on it's a similar thing to read from here okay this is uh, performance vector or the confusion matrix of oh, this is of each table okay any question okay it's, I let you do some exercise on some other data then we take some break and we go come back to do some other things like comparisons of two models okay